Mwahahaha! We are back. Not just only back, we are back here on the house tower of defense. Alright guys, in today's video, I'm not going to be only showing you the, uh, the best uh, king to find, but I think the easiest. Um, now you know, last update guys, they came out with the, obviously the new kings. So I tested every king, and I'm, to my knowledge, I think King Ra is the best. And I'm going to show you that exactly. Now, if you guys go to King Ra, you can't bring any holy units. I'm bringing my paranormal team. So we're going to get in here, and I'm going to explain everything and why I think it's the best. So let's get right into it. All right, we are in here. So obviously, we're going to pick horror mode because it's the best mode, and you get the best reward. Now, just look at the layout here, guys. Okay, so three comes from the back two from the top in the exit you have two now the reason i like this is because everything has to come in the middle which i perfectly love and i just think it's the best and most fastest way depending on your team now i can do this every i can, I can do this every eight minutes is the reason i like this it's not even that you have to even get raw like raw i know raw is probably not the best of the kings but it's not the fact that raw you have to get the unit raw i just like this because i think it's more it's easy and it's and i mean eight minutes is eight minutes ain't too bad to complete a king like i said depends on your team you have to have guys i mean some of you might take more than eight minutes. Some of you might take less than eight minutes. It, like I said, it all depends on your team. What I like to do is just scatter my people here. I'll put two darknesses on each side. And obviously I put a demon mage in the middle. Franks beside my king, my shiny king revenant. Because you want to get that boost from here, uh, from darkness. And then you kind of just put your uh, freak shows up the top. Not necessarily have to have, uh, not remember, you can't bring anything holy in here. So no rat gods, no crypt, uh, uh, archangels, no angels, you know, none of that nonsense, no super punches. The thing I like the raw is because it's all super, it's all super, it's all super, uh, natural. And I can obviously swap out my Inferno um, to Darkness with, I think, Shiny Toxic Bunny too. Because obviously Shiny Bunny, he's uh, Toxic Bunny, he's Paranormal and he's Undead too. So yeah, you can bring Undead in here. You can be, you can bring even him, just no holy. But yeah, okay. So this is the setup pretty much for this, guys. This is why I think it's so easy. I'm on wave 6 out of 20. About 8 minutes, like I say, per. Maybe around a couple hours. You could, you could probably have about 40 of these bad boys. Like I said, uh, Raw is, I'm not sure. I haven't used Raw himself, so I'm not sure what his actual damage is. I'm not sure if he's a booster or not, but like I said, you don't have to do this to even use the iron guys. Just do this just to do the thing. The reason I do this, you get, man, hey, you didn't have that. If you do get a couple of urns of raw, just sell the urns if you don't want a uh, raw, you know what I'm saying? Swap them from, swap them for something you do want. I was doing this because this is all preference, guys. I mean, you're, yours, you might have a better, you might have a different opinion on you're, you might be able to beat King Bassett a little easier. You might be able to beat K King uh, Sobek easier. You might be Anubis easier. This is what I've seen what to do and what my team's be able to do. I'm gonna get your uh, everything upgraded. Round 10. I'm gonna, like I said, everything's coming to you anyway, so I mean if you wanna put stuff back here, go ahead. It'll kill everything besides here. That is one thing you could do. You can put some stuff back here. Cause I know some of the bigger units, like those uh enemies with 1.9 million health, they do come out in the back, I believe. They don't come in the front, they do come in the back along with the uh, mummy crocs, so you can always put some in the back, but I, I like to keep them in the middle because they, they gotta come they gotta come this way anyway. So which kind of just makes more sense and if you want to do uh say if you want to have one of your strongest just have your strongest uh unit put on the strongest itself so i'm gonna put my darkness on that go ahead and upgrade uh, darkness over here and swap in even if you have king rev swap a couple king revs the strongest too just for the time being so i'll put him in strongest as well just see just have a couple at strongest so you know you're pretty much set and once you have enough money like so i have about seven million dollars i'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade all my units like that oh Let's upgrade these guys over here. You have anything shiny besides... I do have a shiny freak show, but he's not level 5. He's like level 2. Then once I get that, I'll have a, I'll have a whole shiny team. Also, if you guys ever want to know how I click so fast, if you're using a laptop or PC, hold down control and just start clicking away, guys. Or you can click on it and start hitting Q. But control and click take so much faster. Alright, so King Rev's doing about 107,000. Darkness is attacking, I think, every... That might be 10 seconds with 257,000. Johnny Demon Frank does with a tech speed of 6 and does 16,713.34. That's really good. Then obviously you got Demon Mage, um, you know, doing that, was that, 25%, 50% boost, 1.72. Big Show does 8276 with a third attack speed. But not too bad. I love King Rev because his, his, uh, his range is pretty good along with Freak Shows. If you look at if you look at shiny demon frank look at his range look look bro that covers almost over here where the boss spawns at if you, i mean come on i mean yeah that's not too bad this is a it's not the best paranormal team but it, it works um hey guys new creep kings are so amazing the fact that they put um each um tomb by itself which is good 
I mean, people might say you don't get the, like, uh, better rewards. I think it's, I think it's better like that, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just having all, you can just do, um, simultaneously different ones, and it's a lot better like that. That's in my opinion. Yeah, I, I think you can get more skulls like that, you know what I'm saying? Which is crazy, like, even from one, one of the, uh, tombs, you can get, like, a, I think the max is 11, uh, voodoo, uh, tokens, which is crazy. Do King Raw, guys, if you don't, uh, necessarily... See, I feel like King Raw, and the thing is, guys, King Raw, he's the only of the kings that is not undead or creature. So he's he's only, I think he's only holy, I think, and maybe human, because obviously he's the king of the, uh, he's the king of the sun, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I noticed that he's the only king that is not creature or undead or any of the two. I think makes King Raw unique, because, you know, I'm not sure what exactly, uh, I'm not sure what tomb he's actually powerful in, but yeah, that's what makes King Raw unique. So yeah, all the mummy, yeah, see, I oh, hear that, y'all, yeah, all the, all the stronger enemies come from the back, like, so, like I said, Mummy Croc, 1.1 million, uh, like I said, I have two of my, I have four of my King Revenants on strongest, I believe, yes, him, let's put all of them on strongest, see what, see what the, anything, anything different really happens. And obviously, I got my two darknesses, uh, darkness, uh, on strongest as well. Not bad. 10, 257,000 every 10 seconds. That's not terribly bad. Like I said, guys, you don't have to have the best team to even beat this. I'm in horror. It's not like the old King, uh, King Crypt. I think the old King Crypt is a little, little bit harder on horror mode than this. This is somewhat a little bit, uh, a little bit easier. Because you don't have enemies with, like, 3 million hails and stuff like this. So, this kind of... But I don't, I, but that, but now the old kings, are, I'm going to say they're useless, they're just, you can't, like, they're not powerful anymore, like, more powerful in here. But I guess that's why they have new kings, I'm not saying the new kings are better than the old. Now, I think the best king, I think, is supposed to be, because I've seen all the stats, I think the best one out of the four is King Anubis, because I think he does, like, 25,000 every so. But if you want to get one, I think the pharaoh is a little bit better. From the uh, Ancient Urn, he does 150,000. Or Omnan Ra, I'm not, I've not seen Omnan Ra, I'm not sure what his stats are, but I think he's, I think he's pretty supposed to be a good you obviously get you can go to Omnum Raw's um tomb by getting an ancient coin getting a scarab from the merchant and keep replaying it and get body parts and so forth and so on so yeah guys uh pretty sure this is eight minutes yeah we're at 919 yeah so this only took me eight minutes oh yeah easy look look five minutes and Raw only has five million health but look at Raw looks so cool though the wings the sun staff about to get down very very easy bye king raw it was nice knowing you buddy really yeah, go ahead and turn my guys into stone or whatever you do. All right, so we are back in the lobby. I said, that is my thoughts on which I, which, 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 uh, I think what king is the most easiest and the best one to farm. Um, if you like, if you want to see me more, if you want to see me do more, uh, more videos like this on which king is the best to farm uh, as well, let me know in the comments below. I can, like I said, I can go over each one, guys, let you know certain strategies, certain teams, and stuff like that. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you guys have found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already, and guys, turn on that notification bell. But, as always, be safe, stay frosty, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.